Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So we have been scanning around the 70cm handband and noticed some strange micro transmissions around the 433MHz region. Well, if you're into radio band scanning, then most likely you have. Now, while I had my suspicions as to what these transmissions were, it wasn't until recently that I decided to do some further investigation. These microtransmissions are produced from low power devices designed to transmit specifically on the 433 MHz of the UHF band. So what are low power devices and what do they do? Well, it's more than likely that what we're seeing here on the screen, those peaks of transmissions in the center, are most likely coming from wireless instruments and digital devices such as car key fobs. Other wireless instruments would include devices such as home weather stations and even wireless doorbells. Now the frequency that you can see displayed on the SDR software is for my local country. It may be different in your country, but generally between 430 and 440 megahertz. The usage between countries is different, so I'll leave a link in the description where you can find out further information. Okay, so we have now established what these micro transmissions are. So how do we go about decoding them and viewing the data contained in each of those little data bursts? Well, using an application called RTL433, we can do just that. RTL433 is available from GitHub, where you can download and compile it yourself on a Linux machine. But don't worry, if you don't have a Linux machine, someone else has already compiled RTL433 to work on Windows. So let's take a look at how to compile on Linux, specifically Ubuntu, and I'll show you how easy it is to decode these transmissions. We'll then take a look at the Windows version too. Now, the great thing about RTL433 is that you don't need to run any other software. All you need to do is ensure that your RTL SDR based device is plugged into your USB port and the current drivers have been installed. The drivers would be the same drivers that you use when you're using the RTL SDR dongle within SDR applications such as SDR Sharp or SDR Console. So over on your Linux machine, open up a terminal and first we're going to clone the GitHub to the local machine. Now once that's done, we're going to go through a few different commands which will be to compile the RTL433 application and then install it. Now I'll leave a link to this GitHub specifically in the description below and also I'll leave a, a little list of commands so you can easily run it on your Linux machine as well. Now it only takes a few seconds to go through these commands, obviously depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, mine seems to install quite fast. The last command there, sudo make install, is quite important. You do need to use sudo in front of it. So now we're actually ready to go ahead and actually start the application. So just type in RTL underscore 433 dash G. Now it's connected to the SDR receiver. It's set the frequency to 433.920 with a sample rate of 250,000 hertz. So now this needs to wait until some data comes through. And as you can see there, the first thing that it's picked up is a weather station. And then immediately afterwards, we saw a Ford car remote. So somebody in this vicinity was unlocking or locking their car. Now, the great thing about this tool is you can go ahead and save all of this to a file. So you could just leave it running for a, a long period of time. And then you can just go back to it and take a look and see what you've captured and what is going on around the area. As you can see there, we've also got a Honda remote. Somebody else has tried to unlock or lock their Honda car. Now, the information that comes from Key Forbes doesn't seem to be very interesting but what is interesting is the information coming from the weather stations now it looks like it's picked up a couple of different weather stations here you can see that by where it says station id but it gives us some tangible information such as we've got temperature and humidity average wind speed total rainfall um, even has a battery status as well now I have no idea where these are coming from, whether it could be one of my neighbours or somebody has got it set up in their office. I don't know how far these things will broadcast, but I do live in quite a high area. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we get the Windows version of this 
working. Now once you've downloaded the zip file from the website which I'll leave a link to in the description below just uncompress it and you can simply just start the application by double clicking on the rtl433.exe. You can also run it from command line as well if you want to add any extra switches but I believe that it adds the dash g if you just double click it to start off with. You'll see that it instantly connects to the SDR receiver and sets the frequency and the sample rate and it will start receiving and decoding any of these low power devices that are in your area as you can see at the moment it's picked up a couple of weather stations now you can obviously output all of this to a file just have a look at the help file that uh, comes with this application that's also on the Linux version as well so if you want to leave this running like overnight you can have it so that anything that's received and decoded can be written to a text file or a log so you can review it at a later stage. Anyhow guys if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and learning all about low power devices and decoding it please subscribe to my channel I have lots of content which is all SDR and radio related. Don't forget to leave a like and until the next video take care and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.